All right, everyone. So today I'm going to use Simscape to solve example four we introduced in the class. So the example four has a triangular coupler. So how to do it, how to deal with it in Simscape. So first of all, let's start SM new to create a Simscape model. And then you can see this window. And we first want to create our link number two. So link number two has a length of L2, a width of W, and then a thickness of T. So right now, if you want to click apply, your MATLAB doesn't like it because these variables are not defined yet. So what you can do is you can go to this model explorer and then find this model workspace. And then you click the model workspace and then for the data source, you select MATLAB, record, MATLAB code. And then you just define the length is so L1 is 0.22, L2 is 1, L3 is 2.06, L4 is 2.33. And you also have AP length, which is 3.06. You also have a data angle, which is 31 degree or minus 31 degree. We don't like degrees, so convert everything to radian. And then we want to define the uh, width which is like about five centimeters. And then the thickness of the bar is another five centimeters, okay? Once you type in all of this information, you just click anywhere else, click here, and then click reinitialize from source. That means these codes now has been ac accepted by your MATLAB. So you can close, and then if you double click the solid again, and then click apply, or update. Now you can see the bar is um, assembled correctly. So you, if you don't like gray, you can change the color in graphic visual property and then choose blue as input. Apply. It, remember to click apply otherwise it won't be updated. And then click close. So we want to connect this L2 to a joint O2. Where to find that joint? So I suggest you to go to this library browse and then here you can search for joint and then you can actually see a lot of stuff related joints. The revolve revolute joint is what we want and then you drag it inside and then we name this joint as O2. So we cannot directly connect joint to this solid because if you go to this solid and click here you can see that by default the origin of that bar is in the center of the bar if you directly connect this o2 to your solid that means your joint o2 is connected to the center of the bar instead of on the end of the bar so in order to achieve what we want we actually need to shift this coordinate by half of the length so your o2 can be connected here so what we do is we need to use a so-called rigid transform. We double click and make sure the length of the bar, we shift everything by half length along the X direction. And then by doing so, we can connect our bar with the joint. And the, the other side of the joint O2 is connected to the ground. In our case, the ground is called world frame. So we can do the same thing to connect the other end of link two to joint A. We just copy and paste everything because we're just repeating things. And then name this O1 to A. So sometimes we want to simplify our layout. In this case, these three components together is our link two. We can actually select them and then click sub, uh, build subsystem and right now this subsystem one is actually our link two we can name it as link two so we do the same thing to connect to form a ground link which is our link number one and then we double click and then the length of the ground link is l1 and then we we don't want blue color so we can change it to gray 
that's our ground because it looks like ground and then we can update you can see the ground link and then all the transformation has been uh, has to be updated as well so you can see offset l this l1 and then we do the same thing on the other end there's l1 okay so we can then we have the new ground link and then once the end of the ground link is connected to the ground and the other side of this ground link is connected to a joint O2. Oops, it doesn't like, oh sorry, it doesn't like O2 because we actually need to name it as O4. Delete these redundant line and connect here. And then we need to create a bar 4. Copy and paste change the name to bar 4 we actually want a larger window to work with and then your bar 4 again we have to change everything becomes L4 and then the other transformation is also L4 and then we change the length of the bar to L4 Oops. and then we can assign it whatever color you want to this output bar, I'm going to use green. Okay, apply, check it out. Okay, looks good. Check OK, and then goes back. So one end of this bar, uh, link 4, is connected to 04 according to the uh, example. So the other end is actually connected to B. So, so that means we need another joint B. All right, up to this point, we have the output bar, the ground bar, and the, and the input bar. But then the triangular shaped coupler is, haven't been defined yet. So how to create a, a triangular in, in Simscape? It's the same thing. We first need to find a solid. You search solid, and then find this solid thing and then drag it here. So in order to find, create a triangular coupler, what you need to do is actually you need to use 